Can something with a bizarre moniker like monkey's head mushroom really help improve brain function, improve mood, help with gut health, and even help with nerve regeneration? Of course, I'm talking about my personal favorite mushroom of all time, the lion's mane mushroom. This mushroom is not only easy to grow, but it's also a delicious gourmet mushroom and a medicinal powerhouse. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on lion's mane as a medicinal mushroom. Lion's mane has been around for a long time and it's been used for a long time and its claim to fame over the centuries was its apparent ability to soothe the membranes of the digestive tract. So traditionally used to combat stomach ailments and digestive issues, lion's mane was also considered just a tonic for overall health. Of course, lion's mane also has a long tradition of use for brain health, which is what it's most famous for today. Others point to lion's mane for bolstering nerve growth and repair while also helping with memory and focus. There have actually been studies done on lion's mane for cognition with some pretty interesting results. In one double-blind placebo-controlled study, 30 adults with mild cognitive impairment were split into two different groups. One group was given four 250 milligram tablets of lion's mane three times per day, while the other group was given a placebo. It found those supplementing with lion's mane actually performed better on cognitive tests at weeks 8, 12, and 16 of the study. In a 2019 study, participants were given cookies, including lion's mane mushroom, for a period of 12 weeks. The results showed an improvement in cognitive function and prevention of short-term memory deterioration. Now, outside of clinical studies, there are people all over the world that report amazing results from adding this mushroom to their life. Considering what compounds are inside of this mushroom and what these compounds do, it makes total sense that people would experience these effects. Lion's mane is a special mushroom, and whether or not you just like to grow it, you like its culinary attributes, or if you like to use it as a brain booster, there's really no reason not to like this mushroom. If you've had experiences with this mushroom, I would love to hear about it, so please let me know in the comments below. 